Holtec is planning to reopen the Palisades nuclear power plant. This is amazing news. Uh, the Palisades nuclear power plant was shut down last year and uh, it wasn't supposed to come online ever again. Uh, so basically we wrote uh, Palisades off as a loss for uh, you know uh, the nuclear capabilities that uh, the US had. Uh, but there seems to be uh, a change in the winds today. What I want to do is I want to read you what Holtec itself has published. I'm not going to read the entire article, but the wording of the first two uh, paragraphs is important. So let's start. We are pleased to report that the repowering of the 800 megawatt Palisades power plant in Covert Township, Michigan, took a giant step forward this week with the signing of a long-term power purchase agreement between Holtex Palisades Energy LLC and Wolverine Power Cooperative. We thank Governor Whitmer, the Michigan legislature, the U.S. Department of Energy, led by Secretary Granholm, and the people of Michigan whose enthusiasm to render Palisades into a bastion of new clean energy generation has encouraged us to launch the Odyssey of Restoring Palisades Energy Generation, says Dr. Chris Singh, CEO of Holtec International. We are well aware that although we see no real obstacles ahead, repowering of a dormant nuclear power plant such as Palisades would be a feat that has never been achieved before. Hopefully the Palisades revival would encourage our allies, Germany and Japan, who have many dormant nuclear power plants, to adopt a similar course. I share this optimism as well. Um, I think that for Germany there is still a small chance they have six reactors uh, I believe that there's one still running at this moment, but in the end, there will be six reactors that have been shot down uh, by the German government. Uh, all told, it's it's around eight gigawatts of capacity uh, that we stand to lose in Europe, thanks to you know the anti-nuclear uh, sentiments of uh, some of the German uh, people. Um, but if we want to restart those. Uh, we're really short for time because uh, the current government, which does not want to restart the nuclear power plants, is going to uh, stay in power if everything goes well until November 2025. So that's another two years. Um, and in the meanwhile, a lot of damage can be done to these nuclear reactors that may render restarting them uh, impossible. It, at Philipsburg uh, in Germany, uh, I literally saw the last steam coming out of the out of the cooling tower uh, the day before it was shut down, and only a couple of months later, uh, the cooling towers were demolished. Now, if we look at the United States, uh, the United States has some 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 similar problems, being that. Uh, nuclear power plants that have been shut down are actually being decommissioned, uh, being deconstructed. Uh, if we look, for instance, at the latest Vice video, which, uh, which, which asked the question whether uh, the United States would, you know, would be wise to stop nuclear or not, um, they basically film uh, the deconstruction of, 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 of the San Onofre uh, nuclear generating station. And you basically see piles of scrap everywhere. So this indicates that they are cutting the thing apart. And, you know, there there's also other uh, videos of, of, of nuclear power plants in the U.S. that are being demolished, so like, like Vermont Yankee, for instance. Now, if we look at the nuclear power plants that were closed most recently, uh, except for Palisades, which is 800 megawatts, um, we see that there's maybe six uh, nuclear power plants that may be saved from the cutting, you know, cutting tools. So Indian Point 2 was shut down April 30th, uh, 2020. 
and Indian Point 3 was shut down April 30th, 2021. So these have been shut down quite recently. Then there's Dwayne Arnold, uh, which is a which is a one gigawatt plant. Um, it suffered storm damage, uh, and this this was the reason why it was shut down. So the question is. Uh, have they be have they been taking it apart already or is it still intact uh, can they overhaul it to make sure that the storm damage or the systems that were susceptible to this storm damage can be repaired uh, or not then there's three mile island one then there's pilgrim and then there's oyster creek so all told there's approximately six nuclear reactors at this moment that might be saved uh, that have been taken offline, uh, you know, in a time frame of four, four and a half years. Um, this is pretty long because sometimes people are pretty enthusiastic about breaking things. So uh, some of these might be in different stages of uh, disrepair uh, or even, you know, uh, have holes cut into concrete sections or maybe 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 they have cut into the primary loop uh, maybe they've done acid wash to uh, to clean the primary loop or or maybe they've even removed i don't know the rpv i think maybe for rpv removal it's 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 too soon um but there is also a chance that these plants are still serviceable enough and can be uh, brought online with one or maybe one and a half, maybe two years of tender loving care. Uh, and I think that we should pursue this. So right now, uh, the U.S. has 92 running reactors with Palisades. That number goes up to 93. And uh, this means that we can turn 95.8 gigawatts of power into 96.6 uh, gigawatts of power and this is a great win uh, for nuclear for whole tech for the people the customers who uh, who have to you know who, who are going to uh, get the electricity from this nuclear power plant it's going to be a win for the climate uh, it's going to be a win for clean energy um, I'm extremely happy that this has happened it serves as a precedent not just for Germany, not just for Japan, but also for the United States. Um, and I think that we, uh, we should push uh, for more uh, reawakenings of nuclear power plants. So thank you all for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.